Hey everyone, and welcome to our channel. Today, we will discuss the growing technology and inventory of Russian bombs being used in Ukraine. In May 2023, Yuri Ignat, a spokesman for the Air Force of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, told Western media that the use of Russian-guided bombs could force Ukraine to change its plans for operations since the country was getting ready for a counteroffensive. According to Yuri Ignat, these weapons are a grave danger. He also said that the Russian military has been intensively using them for about a month. Russian news outlets earlier said that their country had started using 40 to 60 kilometer guided bombs in Ukraine. Colonel Roman Kostenko, secretary of the Verkhovna Rada Committee on National Security, Defense, and Intelligence, revealed in December 2023 that the Ukrainian armed forces cannot counter Russian gliding bombs. This month, the New York Times reported that personnel of the Ukrainian armed forces said that they have been suffering from the devastating power of gliding bombs since March 2023, and even those Ukrainian troops who are accustomed to bombardment are affected by them. A Ukrainian National Guardsman going by the callsign Keith is quoted in the publication as saying that the Russians send them out in pairs, eight times an hour. He remarked that it appeared like a jet was heading in your direction, almost like the gates of hell were opening. Furthermore, the operational activities of Russian drones have a significant repercussion on the Ukrainian military. Provisioning operations along the front line have been rendered more perilous as a consequence. The Ukrainian forces have ceased using equipment to access their positions due to drone use. Automobile travel is extremely hazardous. All movement must be accomplished on foot. NYT quotes a Ukrainian National Guardsman with the call sign Barbar saying the Ukrainian troops are dismounting approximately 10 kilometers from their positions. Now let us understand why Ukraine complains about the Russian bombs. We will also understand how Russia has transformed its artillery by using dumb and precision weapons. On January 18, the Russian Ministry of Defense published news of the Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu, examining the implementation of state defense orders at the State Machine Building Design Bureau Reduga, located in the Moscow region. Images from his tour of the defense industrial complex firms in the Moscow region were also published. These companies come under the Tactical Missile Weapons Corporation. The images show that Shoigu paid special attention to increasing the production of high-precision, high-power ammunition. One of the photographs displayed a full-scale model of the more recent version of the aerial bomb with a caliber of 1,500 kilograms, which featured a guided planning and correcting mechanism. Shoigu said that the guided planning and correction modules for equipping free-falling aviation bombs with calibers of 250, 500, and 1,500 kilograms have proven themselves during a special military operation. Not only did the head of the Russian military give the order to boost the production of high-precision ammunition, but he also gave the order to modernize it. This meant that a particular line of ammunition was to be moved from the category of ordinary ammunition, which the Ministry of Defense of Russia holds an adequate amount, to the category of high-precision ammunition. According to Shoigu, there is currently a successful experience and good results, Nonetheless, this work needs to be broadened. He said the primary warfare work is now carried out not over geographic areas but rather particular targets. Consequently, Boris Ivnosov, the chief executive officer of TRV, announced that the State Defense Order 2023 had been completely satisfied by the firm that was inspected. The manufacturing volumes of high-precision means of destruction have surged by a factor of five since the beginning of the special military operation in Ukraine. This is because particular positions are in tremendous demand. This was made feasible due to the expansion and modernization of production, the rise in staff, the improvement in labor productivity, and the transition to a work pattern that was 24 hours a day, seven days a week. After the visit, Shoigu mentioned that the unified high-precision jam-resistant ammunition system is currently in the final testing stage during a meeting with industrialists and armed forces representatives. His statement could have been a reference to the Drell precision glide bomb that was being tested. In addition to this, he mentioned that the Tactical Missile Weapons Corporation had accomplished the tasks of increasing the accuracy of hits and the interference resistance of ammunition, as well as organizing the serial production of guided and correction modules, guided modular bombs, and control units for rocket projectiles. The Russian Aerospace Force employing these precision bombs was the subject of another press release. In the vicinity of Krasny Lyman, the Russian multi-role fighter bomber Su-34 attacked the fortified region on the opposing side. The strike was carried out with unguided aviation bombs FAB-500 equipped with a universal planning and correction module, 
which enables precise strikes to be carried out safely away from the line of contact. The release of the bomb from the external suspension pylons of the aircraft happened beyond the reach of the adversary's air defense system. Surveillance confirmed that all enemy targets were destroyed, and the aircraft that participated in the mission returned to the airfield without incident. Trajectory correction using signals from the Global Navigation Satellite System, GLONASS, improves the accuracy of directing aviation munitions. Furthermore, upon deployment, the Universal Planning and Correction Module wings unfold autonomously, enabling the bomb to travel a distance numerous times greater than the carrier aircraft's location. Another statement from the Russian Ministry of Defense states that the efficacy of hostile fire suppression is substantially enhanced through high-precision ammunition as demonstrated by the results of the special military operation. For instance, reactive multiple launch rocket systems, MLRS, transform into precision weapons that exhibit enhanced firepower efficiency. Using the Tornado S system with 300mm caliber missiles substantially enhanced shooting efficacy, supplanting the MLRS-type Smirch and Urigan of the past. This resulted because the system in question includes guided reactive projectiles and unguided projectiles for striking area targets which are used effectively in special military operations to target specific objects selectively. In addition to the Tornado S, troops continue to receive medium-caliber, 122mm, Tornado GMLRS. Guided reactive projectiles have also been created for it. The Russian Defense Ministry also highlights improvements to barrel artillery. According to the ministry, new high-precision munitions have been created to target individual targets selectively. According to the ministry, the guided artillery shell, Krasnopol M2 development is complete, and in many ways, it outperforms its predecessor Krasnopol. It is effectively used during special military action. Furthermore, for the coalition system, high-precision ammunition with extended range has been created for the 152mm coalition SV complex and current 152mm artillery systems. Their testing is due soon, according to the announcement. The effectiveness of artillery and missile units in performing combat is enhanced by a significant increase in the count of unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, in the army. They remain the most effective means of obtaining reconnaissance information, the Russian Ministry of Defense states. UAVs are successfully used as part of reconnaissance strike complexes, providing fire damage to identify targets in real time and illuminating targets when using modern high-precision ammunition such as Krasnopol M2. The effectiveness of missile and artillery units is also increased by the use of drones, which increases the efficiency of artillery fire and survivability on the battlefield, as well as the use of modern artillery reconnaissance tools, such as Zupark 1M and Yastra AV. Artillery regiments are provided with well-proven, modernized, self-propelled howitzers called Instead S. During the special operation, self-propelled 82mm mortars drock, self-propelled 120mm artillery guns Flox, and self-propelled 152mm artillery guns Malva are also operationally and battle-tested, demonstrating their excellent tactical and technical capabilities. The Russian Ministry of Defense also says that all missile units have been given the latest operational tactical missile system, called as Kondorem, which is still the best weapon in its class. Do you think Ukraine can counter the Russian bombs in the future? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this content, please subscribe to the channel and share and like the videos.